How's it going guys? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome to a first for me on this channel, uh, an unboxing demo review of a brand new guitar. Is there a more exciting day than new guitar day? I don't think so, unless it's maybe win a lifetime supply of beer day. <laughs> um, just quickly, if you are a returning viewer here, you might know some changes. I'm currently revamping my studio space. There'll be a full video all about it, but uh, it's still in progress at the moment. And if you're new here, if you like what I do, please subscribe, like, comment, introduce yourself. Um, it's your subscriptions and support that keep me doing videos like this. So with this guitar, my curiosity got the better of me. I've been a long time user of Toman, the German music supplier, and I've always been curious about their house brand Harley Benton, but I'm yet to try one. And when I saw this one had been released, I literally couldn't say no to it. It just looked amazing in the pictures and for the money, it was well worth the try. So let's get into it. Well packed as always from, from Toman. <laughs> In case of emergency, rescue my guitars, fantastic. So this is the Harley Benton TE90 FLT in orange blast. Let's have a first look at it. I'm not expecting it to be as good as the pictures, but we'll see. <laughs> I've got to be honest, my first impressions are outrageous. I mean, the cost of this, I think, is around 180 UK pounds. I mean, that's just, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So some of the specs of this guitar, I've got them in front of me. Uh, the body is made of Sunkai, uh, quite light actually. I've seen some of the, um, the reviews say these are quite heavy, but I think they used to be made of ash, the TE90s. Uh, Canadian maple neck, uh, the fretboard is baked Sunkai. Um, and it's supposed to have a modern C neck profile. Feels really comfortable in the hand already. Nice satin, satin finish on the back of the neck. So we've got a tusk nut, Graftec tusk nut, 22 medium jumbo frets. These are their uh, Roswell FLT Filtertron style pickups. I've got to be honest, I am bowled over by how this looks. So smart. The headstocks are surprised as well because in some of the pictures it looked like this was like a gloss veneer uh, and it looked a bit odd uh, in comparison to the, the satin finished body, but it's actually a satin and then the Harley Benton logo is like a nice chrome. It's not far off being in tune, if I'm honest. For having come all the way from Germany. So, first impressions, absolutely bowled over by the appearance and the feeling of the neck. For the money, it's just outrageous. I'm gonna get these boxes out of here and then we'll plug it in and have a listen. So I'm just gonna give it a tune up. I think I'll take this little uh, dangly dangler off. Reverse headstocks or take a little bit of getting used to. I saw a lot of people saying they weren't a fan of the reverse headstock, but I think it looks looks smart on this. Quite sort of hot roddy. Bit Billy Gibbons. So first noticing the tuners aren't the best quality. I certainly wasn't expecting them to be, but yeah, no, they're not not amazing. They're a little bit stiff and um, the ratio is not brilliant, but Again, I think the idea of these guitars for the sort of money is that they're a bit of a mod platform. If you wanted to replace the pickups or the pots or the, or the tuners, you can get stuck in. Considering this has just been on a fairly long journey, um, it's tuned up and keeping uh, holding tune pretty good. Acoustically quite resonant. Yeah. 
So I've gone along and given it a check on every fret, giving the strings a bit of a bending. It's pretty well set up out of the box, if I'm honest. I'm definitely going to tweak it slightly. Uh, there's a little bit of buzzing at the lower end of the fretboard. Might be a fret issue, it might be something to do with the nut, but nothing that can't be worked out, and it's not that severe either. Fret edges are pretty smooth right out of the gate. Certainly more than I'd expect for a guitar in this price range. Just uh, a disclaimer, this is they didn't send me this guitar or anything. I bought it with my own money because I want to give you a proper honest review of it. Um, although they might as well have paid me because the review so far is pretty good. Um, so should we have a listen to it together first time? Before we settle in and have a proper listen to this, I'd like to know from you guys, do you own Harley Benton guitars? If so, which ones and what were your experiences of them? Also, if I was to feature another Harley Benton guitar on the channel, what would you like to see next? Just let me know in the comments down below. Um, so I've got a sort of clean-ish sound. This is the bridge pickup. <laughs> Really nice, what I expected, kind of chimey, um, humbucker-esque, more humbucker than single coil, but definitely a lot of chime. <laughs> Middle position. Neck. So this is my first guitar with uh, Filtertron style pickups and so far loving it, loving it. Uh, like I said, it's exactly what I expected, which is always good when you get a guitar, a new guitar that it sort of sounds and feels like you hope it does. Um, you've got volume control. Quite a smooth taper for a cheaper pot, actually. Oh, really great home pot. Doesn't go unusable at all. Uh, let's have a listen to it with a bit of breakup. <laughs> So just having a play there, I can feel that there's a little bit of scratching on the uh, on the frets in certain places, but again, that would probably just play in. So I've got a Vox type of sound here. <laughs>
Got a little bit of overdrive dialed up now. <laughs> Really impressed with the pickups off the bat. Uh, the neck's a little bit woolly, but I think uh, with the stock pickup heights the way they are, they're pretty close to the strings. I think just knocking that down into the body a bit would solve that. <laughs> Not a guitar designed to do that kind of thing, but it's uh, it's good to know that it can. So my overall review of the Harley Benton TE90FLT. There is a lot to love about this guitar. I mean, the finish on its own looks fantastic. When it said it was orange blast finish and there was only stock photos, I was a little bit concerned it would turn up looking a little bit tangoed. But no, it just looks sort of like it's got this aged whiskey bar barrel vibe which I really like, the pickups as well. Fantastic. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with Filtertrons to compare them to, but plenty of snap and clarity, also kind of warm. I was really impressed with the electronics as well. The tone roll off, roll off was really nice. The volume taper was quite smooth. The bridge is actually, looks like and feels really good quality. It's sort of encased a bit like a Wilkinson or a hip shot. Um, and really not catchy, like a lot of cheap guitars, you get those bent steel saddles that always catch the palm of my hand. There's a couple of things to mention on the negative side of things, but I, I, I don't really wanna call them negatives for this kind of price point. Um, the tuners aren't the best. Um, they hold tune, but the ratio's a bit funny and, and they're quite stiff to use. The fretboard, there's a little tiny bit of catching when doing vibrato or bending in certain places on the neck, but it's very minor. And I'd imagine after a bit of playing that would work itself out or just a little fret polish. Um, the switch did come slightly wonky, but that's no big deal. I think overall for the money, this is an absolute winner. Um, I know they do other finishes of this guitar, but I think this one just looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, that was my first unboxing review demo type thing. If you want to see more of this stuff, please let me know. Uh, I would like to know from you what Harley Benton's to check out next. If I was to purchase another one to, to feature on the channel, what would be your recommendation? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you in another video. Cheers.